and we're in DaVinci Resolve. You don't see any footage. But the first thing that we need to do is step one, which is changing the project settings. So for that, you can go to the right downside, click that gear icon, and then you have the master settings. And we're going to change the timeline resolution from 1920 to 1080 to the new one, which is 1080 by 1920. I'm going to change the timeline frame rate to 25 frames per second because that's what I shoot in. And then the second tab that we need to address is the image scaling tab. And for that, we're going to change the input scaling from scale entire image to fit to full frame with crop. And now we're going to click save. We're going to click change. And now these are our timeline settings. So that's the first thing that you need to do. Step number two is working with your footage, which means that TikTok has a maximum length of 120 seconds. So you need to make sure that your video clips are within that range. And usually for social media, high paced cuts or jump cuts or whatever are most suitable because that will really keep the attention going of your audience. But I did wanted to show you that the footage has automatically been scaled and I can just reposition it if I have to, to make sure that the subject stays in the center of the frame and I can even keyframe it if we need to. So let's say she's over here and then we need to change that. So she's still in the middle. You get the point. You can do this throughout the clip to make sure that it stays on point. Now, the final thing about these TikTok videos is that usually they have some text and they are pretty animated text or cartoon like text, whatever name you want to give it. And the best way to make that happen is to go to titles and then rather than using the text, you're going to use the text plus because that will give you so much more to work with. So let me just drag it over here. Let's make this a text. So two TikTok girls. First, I'm going to change the size because this is way too small. There you go. And now I'm going to find a font. And I went with Showcard Gothic because I think that looks pretty TikTok like. I want to rotate it in the settings as well. So it's a little bit more angled the other way around. There you go. Let's drag the position down. And now the text isn't very clearly visible, but we're going to address that because if we go to title, and we scroll back up, we have a couple of options. So we've got layout, transform, shading, image settings, and every one of these changes something. Now if you go to shading, we've got element number one, which is the text, and element number two is a red outline. And if you enable that, the text will get a red outline, but you can change the color over here as well. So in this case, I just want it to be black. And then if you go back up, and I choose number three, we've got a black shadow, which is basically a drop shadow. And that already makes it a lot more cartoon like and a lot more TikTok like. And the final thing I like to do with TikTok videos is not change number four, but change number five, element five, enable it, and then click the third one. There you go. And then change the level from character, change it to line or to change it to word whatever you like. And then I like to round it off a little bit, but if you do it too much and you have it set to text, you see that it starts to look weird. So that's why I prefer to have it online. And if you're not satisfied with how this looks, you can always extend horizontally and extend vertically as well to make sure that you've got a bigger border around your text. And you can change the color. So let's make it something extremely obnoxious like pink. And there you go. Now let me show you how this looks by playing this clip. So that looks very TikTok like. Now let's say you want to save this text because this is your brand name to TikTok girls, whatever. You can just drag it into the power bins clip in a master's clip and then it will show up there and you can use it for future projects. And then the final step is at the deliver tab because we need to export it. And for that, we're going to stay on custom. I'm going to give this a name test. I've got the file location over here. I'm going to change the format to MP4. This is the same 25 frames per second. The resolution is now set to 1080 by 1920. So that's great as well. And if you don't like doing all of this every time, just go to these three dots, set a save a new preset. You can save it as a preset and then it'll just appear in this bar over here. 